share some information about a Vipassana course. It's a meditation course that I recently just attended um, in early February. And basically Vipassana means seeing things as they really are by purifying the mind by self-observation. Um, we're all looking for tools to assist us through this crazy thing called life. And I really think that this meditation technique can really benefit you because it has benefited me in my life. So the, basically, um, the Vipassana technique was discovered about 2,500 years ago um, by a Gautama the Buddha. And as he was teaching um, his practice to people, he was encouraging them to be dedicated to this practice because he knew that it was going to disappear. And certainly enough, about five centuries after him, the technique completely disappeared. However, there was a devoted chain of teachers that were disciplined to this practice and wanted to share it. So they <clears throat> transmitted it into its purest form and shared it with um, citizens in Burma, India. There it was... Um, Um, and then it was shared to people all over the world. There's facilities, um, they've been, sorry, I'm so nervous. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> so basically there's three principles to uh, the Vipassana technique. The first um, principle is sila, the principle of morality. When students um, undertake this meditation technique, they undertake five precepts. Um, they refrain from uh, harming any other being. They refrain from stealing. They refrain from telling false truths. They abstain from any sexual activity and any intoxicants. The second principle is samadhi is the concentration of the flow of their natural rhythm of breath. By doing this, they're able to focus their mind and concentrate on the meditation technique. By doing so, they're able to incorporate the third principle, the principle of Panya. The Panya is insightful wisdom by purifying the mind, by relieving defilements, by gaining insight into one's nature. That is Vipassana. When we become aware of our own breathing and what is happening inside, Whatever it is, breath or sensation, we just observe it with a balanced mind. Without reacting, those defilements slowly pass away. This is the teaching of Buddha. It is simple. Everyone can practice it. It's universal. There is no religion behind it. There is no ism. There is no dogma. Everybody can practice it. It's an art of living. Just observe nature as it is by observing the reality inside. When we act blindly and out of ignorance, we distribute our misery and suffering on other people. We then harm ourselves and we harm others. Being mindful of our actions and being aware and acting from a balanced mind, such, such actions can only be positive, creative, and helpful to ourselves and to other people. Advice which every wise person has given, know thyself. But we can't just know ourselves intellectually from a realm of ideas or theories or emotionally. We must know ourselves experientially. There is a story of two, two men. One was younger and he was full of knowledge. He went to school for years. He ended up getting Degrees, PhDs, had all these letters behind his name. And there was an older man, didn't have the means to education. And sure enough, they ended up on a ship together and they started sailing off to the sea. The younger man went up to the old, older gentleman and said to him, Sir, do you know about geography? He said, no, sir, I, I'm not educated, so I, didn't, I don't have the means. You're doing awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I never had the means to 
be educated, sir. What, what does geography mean? And he says, oh, it's the study of science. It's the study of the phenomenon of the earth. You haven't never studied geography? Sorry, sir, I never went to school. And he's like, oh, well, you've wasted a quarter, quarter of your life. The older man was really ashamed and really disappointed. And the next day, the younger man went up to the older gentleman again and said to him, sir, have you ever heard of oceanography? And he said, no, sir, I've never heard of oceanography. Oceanography, what is oceanography? It's like, you mean, you've been sailing the oceans all your life and you've never studied the oceans? And he said, no, sir, I've never studied the oceans. I've never went to school. And he's like, well, it's this, he's like, it's the study of the oceans. I can't believe you've never studied them before. <laughs> sure enough, the next day, the older gentleman went to the younger, the younger gentleman went to the older gentleman and said, have you ever studied meteorology? The older gentleman said, no, I've, I've, like I said before, I've never been educated. I don't know what meteorology is. And the younger gentleman told him, well, it's the study of the weather. And the, oh, sorry, I'm totally butchering this story. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, knowledge is not enough. You need to have experiential knowledge as well as theory to go behind the daily practices of life. We need to know our mental and physical selves and realizing that everything is impermanent. Everything is in a flux and flow. Everything is, in cha is always changing. I didn't go there to I didn't go there for free lodging. I didn't go there to escape from the world. I went there to work on myself. I went, to, I went there to emerge from my old habit patterns. I went there to relieve myself of my self-centeredness so I could radiate true love and passion to all the beings in my surroundings. live in peace within my inner self. I want to live in peace with my environment. And for me to be able to do that, I need to live in peace with everybody around me. So I went to this Vipassana technique and I spent 10 days. I spent 10 days in noble silence, which means no written communication, no vocal communication. I eliminated all my distractions in my environment and I went there to meditate just with myself. I woke up every day at 4 o'clock in the morning. I spent 17 hours of my day trying to work and better myself. 11 hours a day I spent in sitting meditation. The most beautiful thing about this Vipassana technique, or these Vipassana centers, is the code of discipline. The co co code of discipline states that no meditator should ever pay for these teachings. These facilities are completely free for you to use. All you have to do is invest the 10 days. And I truly hope that you do. I know I totally butchered this speech. <laughs> 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 But it um, truly was 10 days well worth the investment. It was a lot of hard work. It was a lot of discipline. But because this facility is completely free, I, it was a gift to me. People have donated their time and their money for me to go work on myself and for everybody else here to go work on themselves. And I truly hope that you look into the Vipassana centers and invest the 10 days because I know you will truly learn more about yourself than you could ever possibly know. And all of these ideas that you guys are creating, you will create the best ideas possible. So please go and look up and read.